Okay, so now will be the external observation of the crayfish. Okay, so it's the same for crayfish. We still need to tell the sex. Okay, it's pretty easy. It's not too bad. So what you need to do, actually, you flip to this side, and then you focus on this abdomen area. Okay? So this little tiny projection is what we call swimmer ring. For male, is the one on my right. Male usually have this extra swimmer ring, and then within this area, and then female will have this hole in the middle. So that's, how, like, it's very easy to tell. That's male, that's a female, okay? So after you're done with telling the sex, now we flip over. You don't have to know about the internal structure for crayfish, okay? So this one just opened up for, for fun, okay? So now, for their head and chest, they're actually fused together, and that's what we call cephalothorax, okay? And between the head and chest, there's a line in between. That's what we call cervical groove. And after cervical groove, this arm piece is what we call carapace. Okay? And get back to the head. Um, actually, let me use this one, I'm sorry. So you will see the same, but this one will have a very distinct triangular structure. That's what we call rostrum. And then besides rostrum, those are two eyes. And then on top of oh, rostrums, you will see two sets of antenna. The larger pairs, the one like right here, larger pair, that's antenna. And then the smaller one, that's what we call antennal. Okay, so remember they have two sets. Antenna is the largest one. Antennial will be the smaller one, okay? So after we talk about the head part, now let's get into the bottom. So the, those are abdomen, okay, abdomen. And then if you flip over to look at the tail, it can break into five parts. The one in the middle with the same alignment as abdomen, that's called talson. And then those four, we just give them a general term like uropods. So if he put a pin, like for any one of them, you just need to know that's your real pot, mm -hmm. okay? So now let's flip to the other side. Let me use this one. You will see two different kinds of feet. So this one, they have, is stronger, okay? Usually it's larger to have one, two, three, four, five, five pairs. That's what we call walking legs. And then this one just swimmer rings. Okay? And then the first pair of walking legs actually develop into chilopads. That just develop into like a claws to catch a prey and then um, it's easier for them. Okay? And then after we talk about that, I have to break into this one. Okay. Yeah, this one's better. Okay. So here, it's the same region, just use different uh, crayfish. So this one, you will see, they have different compartments, okay? So I just want you to remember the order, three, two, one, two, one, mandible, okay? Why I say that is because they have third mycelopad, second mycelopad, first mycelopad, second mycela, first mycela, and then mandible. So now let me show you the presentation. The first one that's outermost layer, that's three, so that's third mycelopad, okay? This one um, that's been tested very often, okay? So this one's thermosilopad. If you move inwards, then you will see this structure. It's like a folding arms, okay? This one, okay? This one, the one I'm point at, okay? This one, the one is moving. That's what we call second mycelopad. And if you want to figure out what's the first, then that will be the one within it. That's the one I'm exposing right now. That's the first mycelopad. And then for second macilla and first macilla, those will be the very thin structure attached to the mandible. He rarely asks you that, okay? So just focus on the third macilla pad and then the second macilla pad is like the folding arms, remember? This one, okay? The folding arm will be the second macilla pad. And then the last thing I want you to know in this region will be the mandible. So you can see it's kind of whitish in color and they're very hard, okay? So those are mendable, okay? So that's about crayfish.